Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video, if you've clicked on it, is obviously a gift guide for teens that kind of give you a hard time with what they want for Christmas. You could even use these as birthday gifts, but especially right now, we're getting so close to Christmas. A lot of us need last minute ideas. And I think that I have gotten quite a few really neat things that I wrote down that I wanted to share with you. Um, I've been kind of buying for teens for quite a while now. In 2015, my two younger sisters came to live with us. They were 15 and 16 at the time. So I've been buying teenage gifts for the last seven years. And there were some years where they were such a pain in the ass and wouldn't tell me what they wanted. So I had to kind of guess based on like their personality and things they already liked. So I thought that this year I would share some of the things that I'm going to be getting either for my daughter or ideas that might work for your kids too. Um, I assume if you're watching this, you have a teen in your life that you have to buy for, whether it's your children or a nephew or a niece. Um, my daughter this year kind of gave me a break and was able to give me everything she wanted in categories, price, website. I know this probably never will happen again, but I was very fortunate this year to just be able to get her things and go right down the list and it was super easy for me. Um, Actually, she didn't really ask for too many expensive things, maybe one or two, and then the rest were pretty reasonable. So I just thought I would share everything that I thought was really cool. Everything I picked is for a boy or a girl. I don't really think that gifts are for specific genders. I think anybody could enjoy anything. Um, my daughter one day is with mas wearing mascara and the next day on a skateboard. My nephew is one day rolling out in the mud and the next thing you know, he's wearing pink and fluffing up his hair. So I just, any way that a kid can express himself in a healthy way, um, I am all for, and I think it is totally rad. So I just, you know, as long as they're okay and they're not doing anything they shouldn't, I kind of just support whatever they want to do as far as their style and clothing and hair and things they enjoy. Like my daughter's really big into gaming. So I just love to see how their personalities kind of just develop as they go along. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked out for what I feel is really cool gifts, keep watching. So the very first thing is a very practical gift, but also is a little bit of an investment. And I feel like AirPods are definitely something your kids could really, really use, especially now with virtual learning. My daughter is totally virtual learning, especially we were gonna send her back, but with the cases going up in our area, we decided to let her finish out the year at home, which is awful because it is her eighth grade year. And it's just such a weird transitional year. But I think she'll be okay because most of the kids she's been with her well since kindergarten. So next year going in high school, she should be okay. But I think AirPods or any type of wireless headsets are amazing gifts. She can use them while she's skateboarding, riding her bike. She really needed them for music class this year. Um, they do a lot of virtual projects with other students. So she needs to be hands-free for a lot of her schoolwork. So I think they're a great investment. She got hers last year in November. And recently my husband brought home another pair for he and I to share and I kind of um, stole them from him. Uh, they're great for cleaning when I want to clean the house instead of lugging my phone in my shirt and having all these cords I can just stick one in and leave my phone on a charger for my audio books that I love to listen to um, I'm always listening to an audiobook or a YouTube or a uh, Podcast they're just amazing gifts and it takes me a while to kind of get on the bandwagon with any new Electronics, but I really think the airpods are great, but I will link below some that I feel like are comparable um, that are very less expensive but you can kind of find them for about 150 bucks and i just think they're a great gift and that could be like their big gift even if it's a santa gift i think they're a great investment and if that's just their one big gift and they have a few smaller gifts that are a little inexpensive i think they would be thrilled with a set of airpods now the next thing i really saw and i really thought was a great investment is a apple charging hub um you can charge your watch your airpods and your phone all at the same time I'm constantly replacing the charging cords. I'm constantly replacing them because they're broken because she loses them. She lets someone else borrow them. And this eliminates all three of those. And for all three of those devices, you need the charging pot or the charging cords. So I think that it's a great investment. They're $25 on Amazon. They can plug all three things in before they go to bed. And all three things they basically need nowadays for their schooling. Well, not so much the watch, but definitely their phone and definitely the AirPod she needs for school. So I think the charging pop, no, what is it called? Charging hub, sorry, is an amazing 
gift for anybody, but really for your young teens, I think is a great investment. The next thing I think is a great investment is a hydro flask or any type of insulated um, thermos or water bottle, I should say, are great gifts. My daughter loves them. I know she's getting at least 40 ounces of water in when she's at school. It eliminates the waste like with plastic, with constantly buying um, plastic water bottles. She loves them. My husband likes them. My husband and I used to have Yeti ones. I just got him a new one for Christmas too. We replace them, I don't know, I guess once a year I kind of replace, have we been replacing them? I'm not really sure how often you need to replace them. So if anybody knows that, you can let me know. Um, I just wash them at the end of the day and I try to really dry them out so no rust or anything gets in there. They're great for when they're out fishing. They can take hot drinks like hot chocolate or coffee. I definitely don't recommend them for anything carbonated, but they're great for water and you know your kids getting them. And I love that you can get the lids now with the straws. So I definitely recommend any type of insulated thermos. You can definitely find a couple on Amazon for $17. I've bought them from Amazon. I've gotten them from Walmart. And you definitely don't need the Hydro Flask brand or the Yeti. And I will definitely link some more inexpensive ones that I think are good that I've used. But I think any insulated water bottle are great gifts or even tumblers are great gifts. Um, anything like that is a really awesome gift. The next thing I think is a really cool gift now that they're a little older, she's 14, are jewelry. Um, JCPenney does amazing deals on jewelry year round, but mostly this time of the year, you can get things from maybe 70% off. And if you want to invest in maybe a little gold bracelet for them, um, a watch for your son or your nephew. Um, I think it's so cute when young men wear little watches. Um, if you want to get them a nice ring, my daughter actually gave me a website, Perta Vita, I think it's called, and I will link it down below. It's mostly beachy it might not be for everybody. It's mostly beachy jewelry like the shell necklaces or little wave necklaces, wave rings. So I got her a few pieces and I thought they'd be a little pricey, but actually I got, they were like $14, the rings and the jewelry. And they had earrings, they had everything you could think of. And it is so cute. Um, I was able to get her like three or four things for under $30. Um, you could go onto Amazon, but I liked this website because it was more her personality and style, but you definitely can find things all over for kids. Um, those shell necklaces are really, really in right now. Um, but I think like you give them a special necklace or a special ring and then they can wear it and think of you. And when they get a little older, they can put it away and just have it forever. So I think jewelry is a really, really nice um, personal gift for your loved one. The next thing I think is great, and most kids nowadays already have this in their room, but I guess they can't have enough of these, is those LED lights. I think they are really fun and they kind of put a real cool ambiance in their bedroom. They have a long day at school. They can put on their LED lights, relax, do their homework, talk to their friends. They're really cool. And you can find them very inexpensive on Amazon. I have gotten my daughter some for, I think they were like $20 and they're every different color you can think of. Um, she has a remote start for them. She has put Christmas lights up in her room. She has asked for those ones that are like long curtain ones. Um, they just have every kind of LED light you can think of and they're really cool. And I just think they're so much fun for your bedroom. And then speaking of LED lights, this is the next gift that I would recommend and it's LED lights for their bicycle wheels. I saw this on Amazon the other day and I thought it was fantastic and they are so inexpensive. They basically, First of all, they were they aren't expensive at all. I the most was thirteen dollars. <throat> the most was thirteen dollars, and they were really cool. They came in different colors. They go on the wheel of the bike. They look so cool, and especially when they can go out in the summertime at like dusk and they can still ride their bikes. I think it would look really neat, and I think that would be great for probably any age that rides their bicycles. This is a great gift, and I think it's a fantastic. Even if the whole family had a set, it would be really neat. And you could definitely get your whole family a set for $11. I think they're just a really cool gift, even if you stuck them in their stockings. So I just think that's a really fun gift. The next gift I'm gonna talk about is for kids who enjoy like maybe scrapbooking or journaling or writing or collecting pictures, and that's writing prompts. Now at five and below, 
I have seen so many different writing prompts. One year I was looking for a set for my sister and I found so many at Five and Below and they're $5. And if you're on a strict budget this year, which I completely, completely understand, you can find amazing gifts at Five and Below. And the writing prompts are so much fun. Now I found quite a few on Amazon, even on Amazon, I found them for $6.99. This one is a three minute gratitude journal for kids. I found one for 11 that says dare to write creative writing prompts, burn this after writing, which I thought was kind of funny. That one's only $8.24. Um, 101 story starters for teens. It's under 10 bucks. I just think reading prompts or sorry, writing prompts are amazing gifts to kind of get their brain working, kind of get them off the computer or the phone, even if they only write for five minutes a day. Um, especially kids who love scrapbooking and memory taking and journaling. I think writing prompts kind of gets them out of their comfort zone and will let them write about really neat things and it just gives them really cool ideas. And like I said, you can find them at five and below four or five dollars and I think they're really amazing gifts for those teens in your life and they could be good for a boy or a girl. I only have a few more things, but the next thing I really want to talk about are those Polaroid cameras. When I was a kid, I loved taking Polaroids. They were so much fun. And then you had the picture right in your hand, the memory forever. I still have Polaroids from my gosh, I'm 33. I'm going to be 33 in a couple of days. I, they must be 25 years old, some of them. They're so old and I love them. I love having that nostalgic, nostalgic look of the camera and the picture. And those little Polaroids are so cute nowadays. You can get them for around $110, which again, that could be their big gift for the year. Um, but it's nice to take that picture with them and their friends and they have that memory right then and there forever. Sometimes you, you know, it takes you forever to get to a Walmart to print out your pictures or CVS and you just have that memory forever. And it's so cute on those little Polaroids. So I think Polaroids are a great investment for any kid. And it is a little more pricey, but I do think it's a great investment. And they're even fun for a grown-ups. You know, if you have a little birthday party and they can run around and take pictures of each other, spending summers together doing it, um, little parties when we're able to obviously, or just taking little selfies, they're a lot of fun. And then the next gift kind of goes with the Polaroid. And I've seen this at, again, Five and Below. You really have to check out your Five Belows. They have amazing like bedroom decor for kids, everything. Are those stringed lights that come with little um, clothes pins that they can pin up all their pictures. I think they're really cute. They light up. They're another set of like LED lights. Um, you can put them over tapestries. My daughter loves tapestries. They're all over her room. Um, and they're just so cute. And then they can look at those memories right before bed. And it's just something special they can have. And they can pin up all their pictures of them and their friends, them and their family, their pets, whatever they want. I think those little lights with the little pins are amazing gifts. And I highly recommend them. And last but not least, I think a really fun gift, and I'm so glad I invested in this for my daughter last year. It wasn't too expensive. I think it was around 100 bucks. was a skateboard. Um, she asked me and I said to her, do you think you're really going to use it? I mean, she does use her bike quite often. And she said, yes, yeah, she really, really wanted one. And her and her cousin have so much fun on that skateboard. Gives me a heart attack. Um, but I also had a lot of friends that skateboarded as a kid. So I just thought it was a really good and fun gift and that can be good for a boy or a girl. They just, she and her cousin have so much fun on that stupid thing. So I just think that would be a great gift and it get your kid out of your house, out of your hair. And like I said, she can put her little AirPods in, she's hands free and she can listen to music and just skateboard right in our driveway and right in front of the house. I think all those gifts are a lot of fun, especially if you have a teen who just will not give you any sort of idea of what they want. I think clothes are always a great gift. My daughter asked for quite a bit of clothes this year. Um, sneakers are always a great gift. My daughter did ask for Air Forces, but unfortunately she is such a tiny kid. She's 14, but she's only she's under five feet. She's nothing like me at all. She definitely takes after her father's side. Um, I'm five foot four, she's only five feet, if she's even five feet, and she only wears about a three and a half shoe. Um, I'm a size seven, so I don't know how she's so tiny. And the doctor told us they think she's about done growing. So she might be just tiny her whole life. Um, but unfortunately those sneakers grow, or the guy at the store told us they're like a size and they're like a half size up. So it's so hard to find them in her size, but you can find them sneakers they like. Um, 
like I said, Buy Below has great deals. Amazon always has great things for kids. So that is everything. I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some good ideas for your picky teens. Maybe you don't have any clue what you were gonna get them and maybe you got some idea, even if it's not exactly what I said, maybe it gave you some other thoughts onto something maybe similar or sent you down a path towards something that you can get your kid. Um, I will definitely link everything below that I have mentioned. I will also link stuff similar and with um, like cheaper alternatives. Um, and I will also link some things that I did get my daughter that you can kind of take a look at and see if it's anything that maybe you would be interested in buying. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped. Um, I would love to keep doing this. I love thinking of things to buy for other people. I love gift giving. Um, and I feel like sometimes... I love to give other people things. I think it's just something that, even if it's something small, it can just really make somebody's whole entire day. So I think if you put a lot of thought behind it, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. It can be something just with a lot of love. Even a homemade gift is sometimes better than something bought. So I really enjoyed doing this for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. I really hope you um, enjoyed this and I hope you take a second to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time guys. Bye.